A provision added to a Florida bill proposing a sweeping new set of voting restrictions would make it a misdemeanor to hand out water, or anything else, to voters waiting in line, mirroring a ban enacted in Georgia as Republicans move to outlaw what is a fairly common practice in the South. The bill significantly broadens what is considered illegal solicitation in Florida, making the act of giving or attempting to give any item illegal, regardless of whether the item is political in nature or not. Georgia enacted a similar restriction when Republican Governor Brian Kemp signed a bill of wide-ranging new voting rules into law. Voting rights advocates have since sued Georgia election officials, and have specifically claimed outlawing the practice of handing out water discourages black voters from going to the polls. Florida lawmakers have proposed expansive election reform largely in the same vein as Georgia's, which would create new hurdles primarily when it comes to mail-in voting. Florida Senate Bill 90 contains a highly controversial provision calling for the elimination of ballot drop boxes in the state, but its House Companion Bill does not go as far in that regard. Democrats in Congress continue to press forward with the For the People Act, which would set national voting standards and threatens to largely undo many new restrictions Republicans are putting in place at the state level. Congressional Republicans say they will not allow the legislation to pass, leading to an ongoing debate among Democrats about eliminating the filibuster, which could allow for the bill to pass with a simple majority. Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, a hardline ally of former President Donald Trump, is among those calling on the state's GOP-controlled legislature to pass new voting restrictions. DeSantis holds that stance even though after the presidential election he said Florida held the smoothest contest in the country. States like Florida and Georgia are far from alone in considering new voting rules. More than 250 bills have been filed in at least 43 states aimed at making it harder to vote, according to the Brennan Center for Justice but new voting laws being enacted in states like Florida and Georgia could end up having immediate impacts on big elections, given that both states are viewed as highly competitive and both are delegate-rich in terms of electoral votes. Three Georgia voting rights groups filed a lawsuit against Georgia officials after Kemp signed the new restrictions into law, including a group founded by Democratic activist and former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. The lawsuit labeled the bill the Voter Suppression Bill, and claimed the bill specifically makes it harder for black Georgians to vote, in violation of the Voting Rights Act.